there are actually a, a variety of ways that we can now rig the drawing that you made. Um, so the most obvious and what's usually available in most applications is just parenting. And more or less what that means is that you could take the various elements and then you parent them to uh, other elements. Um, so in the case here, you can kind of see I'm just grabbing and snapping them each to, uh, in this case, to the chest. So that when I rotate the chest, it will rotate its children. Um, so, uh, the weird thing is, believe it or not, this is actually the newest of the rigging options inside of, um, actually it's not anymore, but it was one of the newer options. You actually used to not be able to parent inside of Animate. Um, you could do it if you're in a canvas project by, um, nesting a symbol inside of another symbol, um, which you may have seen us kind of do already a little bit, uh, but you wouldn't be able to actually see it, and it made it very difficult uh, often to uh, work that way. So, um, but yeah, so one way is just parenting. It's not the most flexible, though, because everything moves and everything else, and it's very stiff uh, as well. Uh, so that's one manner. Another way of doing it is through the bone tool. Uh, so what this allows you to do is you can, um, uh, so you can create an animation like this. You can see it's just kicking this guy. Um, but uh, what you do is you actually have uh, these bones in here. So kind of like you would have a skeleton inside of a uh, uh, inside a 3D application. Um, now, it can actually function uh, two different ways. So one is you could have it that uh, each object, kind of like parenting is done up here, that each object uh, as a whole is more or less parented to each bone. Or you can have it, as you see here, where it sort of manipulates the shape. It's very difficult to get it to manipulate the shape correctly, so that's not usually the way that we that I do it. Um, we're going to be using the bone tool uh, for our rigging purposes, um, just because I feel like it is the most flexible in a way. Um, the other way of doing it, and this is actually the newest rigging, is the asset warp tool. Um, so it does also use a bone system. Um, so you draw the bones in, such as you see here, okay? Um, but then... Uh, so you can kind of see, and it basically it tessellates the picture. Um, and what you do is you use one large image. It's not separate pieces. Uh, and then from there, you can then manipulate uh, the bones uh, in order to flex the picture. But notice what it's doing is it's just warping the picture. Uh, it's somewhat similar to the bones, but notice the bones will work on each individual object. This one does not. Um, I don't like this one as much either because one of the issues, which I, hopefully you can see, uh, is that it's a little fuzzy. So what it does is it actually takes your vector artwork and converts it into a raster image and then warps that. You can make it not do that, but then it um, it doesn't function correctly. It will, uh, sometimes it'll lose pieces, uh, which is very frustrating. So, um, but this is their newest manner of doing it. So we will probably utilize this a little bit as well. Um, we'll be utilizing all these ones, but um, those are the main um, ways of basically rigging that you will see inside of him.